Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete that logout portion, right? Now in this video, I want to do, I want to create that our register page. Okay, so if you want to create the register page better in our logging, I want to create as a register here. Okay, first of all, I want to do uh, that is in our logging right now. We don't need this. I close it, close it. Admin factory. You don't need this. Admin logging will be needed. Index also here. We don't need this admin php here that i have already done this job here with all all uh, we don't need this okay now in our admin logging and after that form okay after that form there is some of the link i want to add okay here i make it as a create a new account okay so into this create a new account area here i want to do and put on the route in here i just name that route okay that will be the route and i put that route name that will be as a admin uh, register Okay, admin register so now this type of the route i want to create i copy it now go to our web into this web after this okay after this that will be on the gate method but i copy it and after this i paste it so that will be as a admin and the register okay, admin register in our admin controller i want to create another method as a admin or register or rather than just register but i make it as a admin register okay admin register and i have already put that name our name route name will be as a admin register i copy it then that will be as a admin register great so now i want to do and to create this um, method admin register method in our admin controller now go to our admin controller so here only we have to do we have to create another view page right because first of all we have to load this page and we simply loaded our admin register great and that will be our and method i copy it that will be our and method so for the register i want to do uh, that will be return okay return on the view page and in the view means in our admin folder i want to create another page as a admin underscore register this type of another page i want to create okay friend now in our admin folder i want to create this page as a admin register that means in our view and that is our admin folder here i want to create new file and i just name it as a click as a save as name it as a admin register dot blade dot php so now that is our page so this page layout will be our theme if you go to your theme and that is our register html now i simply click with the sublink text editor i copy everything and then in our admin register here i paste it okay our css and the jss is the just like that same here for the reasons here i don't want to update one by one from our locking page i want to copy okay from our admin logging uh, here you can see that is some of the link i copy this link and that is actually the link simply paste it and then there is some of the bootstrap css i copy that all css uh, that is our last one head mm, greater i copy it and then that will be the same i simply paste it okay select it and paste it great and also they have some of the images if you want to display it then only you have to do you have to use that as an asset right that is an asset and then into this asset area uh, we have to pass that our path i simply cut it i cut it and here i paste it great and also the same for our um, all that our js js will be same i want to copy it from what i had been logging because i have already updated it in here i copy everything okay i copy everything and then in our admin register and here i want to do and to paste it simple okay i simply paste it now that should be loaded okay now that should be loaded if you go now our name will be as the admin and then register right i click as a save all and now if you go click as a refresh and now i want to do and to click it in here as you can see it's display as a admin register now click it in here then that will be redirected to our register page great great everything is great now there is a username email address the password and then retype password so this all that field is already i have created in our here you can see there is a name email and then password so that is the things will be now needed so right now we don't need this bootstrap i close it great so here first of all we have to do we have to update our form right we have to go to our register page that is the admin register page and here they have some of the form and better that is actually the form i copy this form and make it a little bit left side with pressing the shift tab which is totally fine 
now first of all same work we have to do now there is a create one of the form action right into the action area i want to pass one of the name so that will be one of the route name i simply pass that route okay uh, route name i put that route name as a admin okay admin register and then create so this step one of the route name as a admin register create okay and that will be one of the post method and also after that make that sure you have to use that as a csrf token because it should be generated one of the token right and then we have to update all that our field like as a i don't i don't need any id only the text will be needed that the type will be as a text which is fine name will be as a name okay and value i don't need value required everything i want to remove it before this placeholder i remove it okay i make it as a clean great and then the email address also here we don't need this id we don't need this value required everything i remove it and the name will be needed and then type will be as a email type great and then the password i don't need any password id name will be needed type will be needed required everything i remove it okay and same as for the retype password i don't need any id the password and then everything i want to do to remove it from here okay i simply remove it i only need that name and then the password okay so and also there is our form form button as a type as a submit type okay so that means when you click it in here it will be get all that our data in our route now we have to create this route now go to our web i want to create another one so that will be another post method right better i copy it and then after that i paste it so that will be our name i name it as a admin register create i copy it that will be as a admin register create and that will be as a admin register okay i make it as admin register create so that will be our url and in our admin controller now i want to create another method as a admin register create okay create great now simply create this method in our admin controller now go to our admin controller here after this i name it as a public and then function and then our method name okay friend so into this method what exactly we have to do i simply insert the data right so that is one of the post method i want to do and to pass that as a request and also that will be as a dollar request right i simply pass it great so here i want to do and to insert the data in our which table i want to insert this data in our admins table right for the admins i have already created one of the model because we are using that eloquent rm so for the reasons here we have to do we have to load that our model okay so we use and that is in our app into this app and then there is a models there is a models backslash and our model name should be as a admin simple work okay now onto with this admin i want to insert this data okay so here that is our everything i want to do if you want to first of all check it everything is perfectly get or not with this dd better i want to first of all check our request okay there is a request so i want to do want to check that request all the data okay all data is perfectly get or not i want to do and to check it now click as a save all now if you go i just refresh it i put some of the name okay kazi aryan puts the email address some of the password type of password click as a sign up yes you can see we are successfully get the token with the csrf token name value email value password value password confirmation value everything we successfully get right that means right now in particular that position everything is great i want to do i'm now going to insert this data i want to insert it in our which table admin table so i have already loaded our admin model so now with this admin model i want to do and to insert right so that will be the insert i want to insert all the data okay all the data one by one now i want to do and to add it in here so i want to first that will be our first our field name that is our database field name our database field name means if you go that is our database field name as a name email and then password right here i want to do and to insert all the data but only on our password when that will be insert this that will be make it as a hash password okay only we have to do have to change it like name name will be which one name will be our requested name right so here I, that is our request Okay, there is a request our requested field name is what our requested field name if you go to our admin register 
and you can say our requested field name also as a name okay so that is our requested field name i have already checked it with the dd uh, we have get all that value so that is our all that requested value i simply take it great okay so that is a name and then i want to do and to paste it like that will be better i make it into the same line okay make it into the same line there's a name field another field i want to insert as an email okay email will be which one that is our database field name or database field name as an email and our requested field name here that will be as an email okay so i name it as an email great and also our database field name as a password i make it as a password password and our requested field name if you go our requested field name here also as a password i just simply copy that will be as a password but if you use this as a directly whatever the text input value you will be passed from your form it will be insert directly in here right but i want to do I want to make it as a hash password so if you want to make it as a hash password here we have to do that is also another laravel default as a hash so i want to use that as a hash and hash i want to do and to make this password okay that will be the make that means for right now into this make function whatever the things you will be passed then that will be as a it will be make this password as a hash right so now i want to cart it and then here i paste it okay friend i hope every part is very much clear to you so when you use that as a hash we have to also use it okay if you go our default one that means in our controller auth here also you'll get it like as a, a authenticated session that is our requested everything um, here it is auth verification the create or exactly the create you can see into the new password controller here that is one of the hash i want to copy it now i want to use it in here okay that is actually comes from the eliminate and then the support facet and then the hash make the sure you load it now with this it will be make your password field as a hash password and that will be inserted in our database password field okay and also if you use that as a created now that means that is also another one as a created underscore at right i make it as a created created underscore at so created at here i want to use that as a carbon time that means present time it will be inserted that is also the carbon a carbon and carbon now time okay so that uh, that will be inserted as a current time so you only use that as a carbon also we have to do we have to use it so after that i want to don't use carbon carbon will be comes from to the carbon okay so that will be backslash and then the carbon great here now that should be also inserted this data in our database created at table field then that will be the semicolon everything is great simple work friend so now when that data will be inserted i want to do i want to return it with some of the message just like that same i copy it and then after that i paste it okay that will be the return redirect to the route uh, it should be return redirect to the after the register first of all i want to do to make this user to the logging page so for the logging i have already created that as a logging form right and with the logging form i have already displayed the message that means it will be displayed as a, another message as a admin created successfully created successfully okay then that will be displayed this time one of the message in our logging form friend that's all that's all you have to do for creating one of the new admin user now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go now i refresh it uh in our admin controller 58 58 here i have already here you can see <laughs> the syntax error so here obviously that will be this so that is is equal to and then get at then i want to update these things in here also in here and that will be obviously this one great perfect now let's check this out click as a save all now if you go now and to do and to go back re refresh it now go to the register page register page is successfully loaded and now if you like i name it as a kazi aryan right now i uh, at bin at the rate gmail.com password i make it as a udemy one two three four five and udemy one two three four five okay now i simply everything is great that is the email username email address password and then retype password click the sign up 
if everything okay it should be redirected to a logging yes you can see it's now display as a admin created successfully so if you go to our database now go to browse mm, you can see there's a username as a, a kazarian admin name email address admin at the gmail.com and you can see password is now become changed and now that is one of the hash password and status value by default i make it as a zero for the reasons it's automatically inserted as a zero great and also created ad is also successfully inserted perfect now if you want to log in with this admin i copy it and now i'm to log in with this admin at the rate gmail.com password you do me one two three four five okay password i make it as a you do me one two three four five and now if you click as a login mm, you can see right now you're successfully logging as an admin logging successful and add blocking admin name as a kazi Aryan, and email address is visible as a admin at the rate gmail.com great okay friend now everything is great now from here if you log out that will be as a successfully admin log out successfully okay so friend that is for our admin right if you also want to now log in with our user as i told you that is our multi-authentication system so right now if you go to that uh, direct logging okay so here i have already created one of the user uh, right now if you put that email address as a an appropriate you, know, you can see it's also so that is default one right so that is default for our breeze uh, here we don't need to do anything but this part we customize it and we develop it right and this part also should be work here for the user i have created that username better have to check it what exactly i have named it like as a user and you can see there is user at the rate gmail.com now i want to copy it and now i want to use this one as a user at the gmail.com password you do me one two three four five now click as a login mm, you can see you are also successfully able to log in with the user uh, click as a logout perfect and if you want to access the register register you can also able to access that register okay but that is our customized one so here i we are develop it now if you refresh it and now want to don't log in with again our user if you i don't know the user at that gmail.com now click the refresh now you can see invalid email or password because i have already created only one as an admin and password was edumi12345 now login Hmm, perfect successfully login okay i hope friend you like it very much here we successfully created one of the custom authentication multi-authentication system that is our default for the user that is for the admin so if you understand this admin customization part which i have actually tried to explain one by one very slowly so if you understand this part if you want to create now new um, guard for the sailor you can also able to create it i hope it will be not hard for you so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.